The Baxley family has ruled the kingdom of Aberlin in the south of the Monian Empire. For generations, the clan has guarded this region for the empire against the forces of the abyss. About a thousand years ago, the Baxley family was awarded the title of Duke under the leadership of a powerful mage named Valentina Baxley. There are many horrible stories scattered throughout the Monian Empire about the Baxley family and their use of dark magic, so people avoid any association with the Baxley family. But Gushun Baxley was the only exception. He was naturally good at using blades and daggers. When he was young, he could accurately throw his toy knife at his nanny's head as retaliation for disciplining him. And when he started reading and writing, his quill pen was the weapon he threw accurately at his teacher's head. This unruly behavior continued until his older brother, Amon, became the new leader of the clan. Young Gushin was naturally gifted using blades. One day, he was showing off his skills and missed his target and he accidentally hit Amon in the face, leaving a permanent scar on his cheek. Amon did not blame his younger brother, but soon, word spread in the Monian Empire that the fourth child of the Baxley family was a blade wielder. For the Baxley family, which was known for their magic, thought that only lower class citizens who did not know how to use magic would fight with swords and blades. The elders of the family, who actually controlled the family from within, ordered Gushin to stop playing with swords and focus on practicing magic. But unbeknownst to everyone, Gushin has a natural talent in magic. He has a strong connection with the element of light and he quickly awakened his potential while studying. But he hated memorizing long spells and writing complicated scrolls. While the other students spent the day studying magic indoors, Gushin was outside, exposed to the sun and harnessing the power of the sunlight to move at high speed. Sometimes he uses the candlelight on the dinner table to control the knives and forks and uses the table as target practice. Gushin was the only noble man who talks to the servants in their family academy. He was a mischievous but a kind kid, so the servants always covered up his relentless violation of the rules. Even when once imprisoned, the servants secretly gave him food, which the guards pretended not to see. The elders became furious with Gushin, so they ordered Amon to discipline him. Gushin hoped that his older brother would take his side. But as the head of the family, Amon proceeded to lecture Gushin. Gushin was disappointed and just ignored Amon's sermon. But deep inside, he was sad because he was no longer that close to his older brother. The Amon in front of him now is one of the elders, just younger. While the two were having dinner, Amon encouraged Gushin to follow the family traditions and accept the practice of magic because Valentina, the first duchess of the clan, was a legendary mage. Amon also told Gushin that he could be an assassin like him, creating blades using magic. Gushin asked his older brother, can't a Baxley really be an assassin that fights with blades? Amon simply said, as a nobleman, you will have to hide what you really like sometimes. Gushin looked at his older brother and spoke no further. A few years later, a ceremony was held for his coming of age. In a fighting contest, the 18-year-old Gushin appeared in the arena and displayed a unique style. He used strange and elegant moves to evade the magic of his opponents. Then, with his blades, he quickly knocked down the opponents before they could even cast their spells. The elders of the Paxley family were amazed. Gushin was not just a blade wielder. He was controlling the blades using magic. The mages he defeated began to accuse him of cheating. But Gushin provoked them even more and challenged them all to go at him all at once. And then Gushin proceeded to fight 10 mages at once. They surrounded Gushin but he demonstrated a technique no one had ever seen before. With a wave of his hand, the blades flew in the shape of a fan in front of him hitting all the opponents charging at him. Then he jumped into the spectator stands 
and threw a blade at the head of the statue of the clan ancestor, Valentina Paxley. This is what you want? It's just like the motto of House Paxley, fear over love. After Gushin's ranting, the furious elders of the family began to cast a powerful spell with the intention of punishing Gushin. Amon, who remained silent all this time, suddenly stood up and announced, Gushin is now exiled from the family for seriously violating their laws. The elders stopped chanting their spell. They were using dark magic and were ready to kill Gushin. But because of Amon's action, he was able to save his brother's life. Gushin walked out of the arena, looked straight ahead, not looking at any one of them. Gushin felt relieved, like a weight has been lifted. While wondering what his fate was going to be for the future, he is confident in his abilities, and he is sure to establish his own name throughout the Land of Dawn. As Amon watches Gushin walk away, he thought to himself, What I can do is give back your freedom. By the way, if you're interested in being a content creator, there's a link of all my gear in the description. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode. My name is Kizo, and this is your Game Gospel.